Okay, so now I'm looking at how varietal cells make gastric acid, which is HCl. Oops, that'll do. Now I'll, I'll draw HCl down there. That's what we want. HCl. All right. So where do we start? Um, let's draw everything out. Going to do it very schematically, so nothing's going to be even closely to scale. Um, but I'll, we'll get the drift. So there's our blood. Um, there's our interstitium. And is our parietal cell. So you may know that the main stimulants for um, acid production are acetylcholine, um, gastrin, and histamine. So they're in the interstitial the triangle. Gastrin can be a nice uh, circle. Histamine can be a square. So now. And these all bind to membrane receptors on the parietal cell. Um, they do similar things. So <laughs> their binding um, activates second mess enzymes. Yep. Now the acetylcholine and gastrin pathway. Um, now those second messages. Um, both produce um, calcium. So, so this is CA plus plus, um, and then the histamine route produces cyclic AMP. Now, and both cyclic AMP and calcium are crucial. Uh, now, what these do is together somehow in some complicated way um, activate protein. Kinases. I will draw that out. Oh yeah, there has a, some protein kinases there. Now, these protein kinases do three important things. They insert ATPase H plus K plus um, pumps. And they also activate these pumps. And they also insert chloride channels. And that's the main way that um, they stimulate the acid production. So we'll go and draw that out. So they insert, they insert the pumps. Um, I'll just I'll draw one here. There we go. Okay. That's the um, ATP, ATPase uh, H plus K plus pump. Okay. Uh, so, what's the next important thing um, which I'll do in a new color? Um, and to make HCl, uh, we need carbon dioxide, believe it or not. Um, so we get that from the um, we get that from the blood, so that diffuses into the cell CO2. Um, and now there's already good old water in the cell as well. So this H HO and CO2 um, catalyzed by um, something that you should remember, which is the um, carbonic and hydrase. Yep. So that's the catalyst. Um, that goes. They um, form H two CO three minus, and this rapidly dissociates into HCO three minus and H plus. 
which I'll draw with a different color and H plus. Okay. So back to the HO3 minus now. This the, these um bicarbonate ions accumulate um, in the cell, so they get lots of it, and then they're injected or ejected into the blood, um, making yeah, which of course makes this blood more alkaline. Um, now, what's important here is that there is a antiporter. Which is called the bicarb HO3 minus um, bicarb chloride um, antiporter. Now I didn't know what an antiporter was, um, but went on Wikipedia and now I have a basic idea. And what that is is it's basically an exchanger um, that uses not active transport. Um, but secondary active transport. Secondary active transport. So it doesn't directly use ATP. So, anyways, uh, from the name you can see, you can guess what happens here. So, this trades um, exchanges um, your bicarb for your chloride. Cl minus. Now, this chloride. Um, it just diffuses nicely out into the stomach or lumen. So Cl minus. Right here. So we have, yeah, so that's the chloride. Um, so we've got Cl here, Cl minus. So we still need some H. Plus. How do we get that? Okay, so protein kinases insert the ATPs, H, plus, K, plus pumps um, all throughout the parietal cell. So yeah, there'll be some here as well. Just, there we go. Um, and they also activate it. Yep. So you can imagine if I didn't want to be messy, I'd draw a line from. I'll just draw, so. Positive. Now, this H plus. Um, draw a line here. H plus um, is actively pumped. Um, across the gradient come down here um, H plus pumped into the lumen um, through your H plus and, and potassium is pumped into the cell and this is active transport and requires ATP yeah, for this exchange K plus, um, and then just quickly, it's worth knowing the K plus then diffuses out into the cell. So there we have it. The hydrogen and the chloride reacts, goes together, becomes hydrochloric acid, which is the acid of the stomach. Yeah. Uh, anyone that's bored, if you feel like watching some more, I'll just go through it. Acetylcholine and gastrin um, through second messages produces calcium, histamine, cyclic AMP that activates protein kinases. The protein kinases insert ATPase pumps and activate them as well and they also insert chloride channels. Um, then that's important. Uh, next important thing is carbon dioxide comes in from the blood yeah, and then through carbonic anhydrase um, reacts with the, the water to form H2CO3 minus that dissociates into hyd hydrogen ions and um, bicarb. Bicarb leaves the cell and through the through an antiporter is exchanged for chloride. The chloride once in the cell this um, goes out into the lumen diffuses. Um, now the H plus doesn't go out so easily um, and that requires the ATPase um, hydrogen potassium pump um, which uses active transport so that 
transports um, the H plus out into the stomach lumen, um, or the, and that combines with the Cl minus to form your gastric acid. So that's it. Um, I'm not very good with my chemistry, so thanks for bearing through that with me.